Yo, what's going on? Today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make an area unlocker. Uh, this video was, uh, what's it called? Requested to me by one of my subscribers, so shout out to them. Uh, what's the name? I ain't gonna lie. I'm a little tired, so if I sound a lot of it, it's my fault. But, uh, yeah, pretty much. Y'all know how, like, in games where, like, you have, like, a, maybe, like, a door or something, and, like, you walk up to it, and then, like, either if you don't have it unlocked, uh, you can buy it. You can buy access and stuff, and then it saves access, and you just you know walk through and get to whatever the room is and stuff. Or if you already have access, you're just able to walk through. That's pretty much what I'm gonna show you how to do. So of course I already have everything already made and stuff. So yeah, all right. So first things first, uh, make your door or whatever you want to call it, right? You call it door area, whatever. Just a nice simple part. Of course, make sure it's anchored and everything and stuff. Um, you're gonna want to put a number value. Uh, inside of it and stuff and name it price uh, Y'all can set the value to whatever. I'm gonna set mine to 100 and stuff, right? And then once you're done with that you can head on over to replicated storage You can make a remote event called area unlocker event, right? You only need one Then when you're done with that uh, I guess we'll head on over to server script service, right? Area unlocker script. So pretty much have to set up a data store so it saves it saves the uh, the uh, values as well as you know the remote event. So pretty much nice and simple setting up the uh, values and setting up data data loading. This is the data loading. Down here is the data saving and stuff. As always, I will have the scripts in the description so you guys can reference them and stuff. But yeah, obviously make sure you have data stories enabled. I have videos at the end if you need help with that. But yeah. So pretty much when you touch the door, right? When you touch the door, it checks if you have a humanoid, pretty much to verify that it is a character touching it. Then it checks uh, if unlock door one dot value is true. If it's true, then simply it fires the remote event for the client, that specific player, and it'll pretty much unlock the door on the client side, of course, not server side. You should never want to have like door unlocking, like any type of thing where like you have like a part and you want to check if a player has access and you want it to be where like turns can't collide off or it allows them to walk through it, always do that on client side, never server side, because that could easily, like, people could, you could have someone who has access and someone who doesn't have access just go through at the same time, if that makes sense. Like, I've literally seen that in games before, but anyway. Um, if the player, if the uh, player does not have access, it'll then check if the player uh, cash, cash is higher than the door price, or higher than or equal to the door price, and if it is, it'll subtract it, and then it'll set the value to true, then it'll unlock the door. So pretty much I've gained access and then, and then when you leave, this is the data saving, so it's saved. And then, like I said, this is the data loading, so you'll always have your, da always have your uh, data when, uh, what's it called? You always have your data whenever you rejoin and stuff. So yeah, that's simple. Lastly, all you, all you need now is a local script and starter player script to handle unlocking areas. And this is it. Simply, you have the remote event on client event. And I sent over the door instance, so all I gotta do is door that can't collide equals false. I am not gonna lie to you, I have not tested this. Like, I literally started recording as soon as I finished typing it. So, if there's any. Yeah, see? Oh, yeah, yeah I remember. Wait, Door's not available. Oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot to change the name. Yeah, Door 1. Okay. But yeah, if there's any issues, as I go through and fix it. Alright, so. Alright, so obviously, I don't have any cash, so it's not gonna let me walk through it. But if I go on the server side and I change my cash value to 150, right? I have 150 cash now. If I walk through it, as you guys can see, it's 50 cash. And as you guys can see, I can, I'm free to walk through it. It's not taking any more money from me. The unlocked event. Well, it says one, but like, obviously that's how booleans work. If you go down here, you see the values true, right? So then if I am to leave the game, hoping that it saves. All right. Then if I rejoin the game, let me see. It did not say, oh, okay, all right, wait. Let me make sure I did this right. What success, take a look. Like, I honestly feel like I'm, I really feel like I'm forgetting something. If I'm being honest, I, I felt like that, like I was forgetting something. How should I, uh... okay, all right. I'm gonna literally just do what I did over again and then I'm gonna literally just do what I did over again, and then um, I'm gonna just leave differently. I'm gonna leave differently. Usually, usually it works when I do it, when I just do it like this, but here. 
I'm gonna give it a second so it can save. Give it a second. Oh, see, here's the issue. Here's the issue. Table expected. Oh, okay. Never mind. Never mind. See, see. I already knew. I know, like, I had a feeling I did something wrong. I had a feeling. My fault, guys. I forgot. I'm gonna put a comma. Data table. Okay, yeah, my fault. I forgot to put a uh, data table here. I know I just I, I just felt like I was forgetting something. Data table. Okay, so it should work now because it literally wasn't even saving correctly before. Um. Okay, there we go. Now, all right. Now I'm gonna try it. Load in. Set my cash value to uh, 150. Set my cash value 150. Walk through the door, right? Then remove my player from the game. I'm not seeing any, I'm not seeing any errors. I'm not seeing any errors. Okay. Stop. Play again. And let's see. There we go. All right. It's saved. As you guys can see, my cash is the same as that as it was. And the value. So if I walk through the door, boom, I have access and it didn't take any cash away. That's simple. That's how you make unlockable areas with also that safe. If you want to know how to make unlockable areas where like you just buy access just for, like while you're just in that server, like while you're just in like that game, and when you leave it doesn't save, literally you would just remove the data saving portion of this, but everything else will still work. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful. I, like I said in the beginning of the video, the script will be in the description if you need to reference it. Links to my Roblox group in, in Discord can find the description. Appreciate you guys for watching. I'll see you guys. Thank you for watching.